Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and welcome to my channel. If you're watching this, chances are you're either looking into doing bright line eating or you're already doing bright line eating. Um, but either way, welcome. So yeah, I have just completed week eight of the bright line eating boot camp. Today was day eight. Um, pretty soon I'm going to have to make a decision whether or not I want to join Bright Lifers or continue on my own. Either way though, I kind of decided to create this channel as a way to share my journey and kind of hold me more accountable for my actions in this journey. So if you're not familiar with what Bright Line Eating is, it is a an eating plan slash diet um, weight loss program. Uh, designed by Dr. Susan Pierce Thompson, who's an associate professor of brain and cognitive sciences out of uh, the University of Rochester. Um, she wrote this wonderful book right here, all about it. I suggest you check it out. Uh, but the plan is based on the neuroscience, psychology, and biology of eating. It's so much more than just a weight loss plan where you're told eat this and you're going to get thin. Um, it really, really gets to the core of what e your eating problems are. Um, you know, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, everything. It really gets to the core of the problem and helps you change your eating so that you can get the weight off and feel better about yourself and live happy, thin, and free, as she says. So, um, yeah, it's kind of an all-encompassing program. It's really, really great. I don't want to give away too much information about it, but if you look in the description below, I'll post a link to her website and also to her YouTube channel where there is a ton of information about this plan and why it's probably right for you if you're looking to lose weight, especially if you've never been successful in anything before. That's kind of where I came from. At the time that I found Brightline Eating, I was pretty much at my lowest of lows. I've always had a weight problem my entire life. Um, since I was a kid, I think the first time I did Weight Watchers, I was like eight, nine, maybe 10 years old with my mom. Uh, yeah, so nothing's ever worked. I've done keto, Weight Watchers, South Beach, um, paleo, basic calorie counting, you name it, I have done it, but nothing would stick. Um, the longest I ever really stuck with anything was a couple of months. And, um, yeah, I was really at my lowest of lows back in January. I hit my highest weight in a long, long, long time. And I thought, you know, I've done everything. I had just done keto and paleo the previous year. I had no success on paleo whatsoever, despite being completely dedicated to it. Keto made me feel horrible. Um, so anyway, I was... I was like, well, you know, I've tried everything. Maybe my problem is I'm just not moving enough. So I paid a fortune to get a personal trainer and was going to the gym three times a week to meet with her and then going on my own the other days of the week. I think I was only taking like one day off a week and my hunger levels and everything were just out of control. I was actually gaining weight and it was not muscle, okay? Um, and I just... I, I was, for the first time in my life, I felt like I was binging and that had never happened. And I just felt really, really horrible. Like I'm doing, you know, everything I'm supposed to be doing, but, but the more I do it, the hungrier I am and the more miserable I am. And I just, I couldn't make sense of any of it. So anyways, I was kind of venting about it to somebody and they asked me, well, have you heard of Bright Line Eating? And at the time I was like, eh, whatever, you know. Um, I've done everything. It's just another diet plan. I had no intention of checking it out, but they wrote the name of it down on a piece of paper and gave it to me and said, hey, you know, we'll check it out later. Um, they weren't actually doing the plan, but they had read about it and thought, you know, maybe it might be beneficial to me. So I had no intention of checking it out at all. Later that night or the next night, I just, I felt horrible. I had gone to the gym, came home, binged. And like I said, I had never really been a binger before. Um, and I just felt completely out of control of everything in my life. And um, I decided to, you know, I thought, what the heck, let me at least see what this plan is about. So I pulled the paper out and looked it up and went to the website and found the susceptibility quiz. Um, so if you haven't heard of Brightline Eating, if you go to the website, you will um, immediately...
immediately be taken to a screen where you can take the susceptibility quiz. Um, and the susceptibility quiz kind of tells you how susceptible you are to overeating, making poor food choices, um, having a lack of willpower, just everything. Like how susceptible you are to having food control your life, basically. And <laughs> actually, I was really surprised to find out that I am a 10. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, you're fat. Obviously, you're a 10. But in my mind, like I knew I was fat, but I guess... You know, I've been told for so many years, oh, well, you know, our family's just naturally fat. Everybody's overweight. And I had kind of started to believe that. Um, and I didn't really think that my eating habits were that bad, although I knew I had some impulse control issues around food choices and stuff. But, you know, I thought, well, I'm a 10. Um, I've done everything else. Let me go ahead and give this 14-day challenge a try. So I got out my credit card bought the 14 day challenge, went and bought the book and started the plan immediately. Um, and about the, about seven days into that, I was like, okay, I think this is really, really helpful for me. Um, the information I was getting from the book, everything just clicked. Everything made sense. Um, and suddenly overcoming my eating problem didn't seem like an insurmountable pa uh, task. It felt like, okay, maybe maybe I can handle this. Um, but I felt like I needed more support. So seven days into the 14 day challenge, I decided to go ahead and dive in and do the whole eight week boot camp. So the boot camp um, is a pretty in. I wouldn't. I don't know if intense is the right word, but it's a very integrative program is that the word I'm looking for is that even a word <laughs> but anyway um it, it really you basically you're going to get when you join the eight week boot camp you get all the support you get access to um all kinds of information um you get daily module videos that you're supposed to watch that help you um they're informative they just they give you so many tools to help you get to your goal um, and the ultimate goal is to be free from an addiction of food, free from a life of letting food control your life, basically. Um, and anyway, so I have been in boot camp for eight weeks. I have loved it. It's been wonderful. Um, and so you're probably wondering, okay, you did eight weeks. How did it go? When I started Brightline Eating on... Did I bring my journal in here? I guess I didn't. Um, I started Brightline Eating early March. Either way, it was like, I guess, nine weeks ago now. So my one week of 14-day challenge and then my eight weeks of boot camp. Um, on my first day of Brightline Eating, I weighed in at 347 pounds. Today, day seven of the eight-week boot camp, I weighed in at 309 pounds, so I'm two pounds shy of hitting the 40 pound marks mark. So that's 38 pounds in eight weeks. Um, and the craziest part about all of this is it's been the easiest thing I've ever done. I'm not kidding. Um, it's It doesn't take much effort at all. The first couple of weeks, you know, when you're getting used to, um, you know, the eating plan and what you're allowed to eat or, you know, I guess I shouldn't say allowed. You know, there are four bright lines that we don't cross in terms of what we do and don't eat. That's kind of where the name, the bright line name came from. Um, but I hate using that term not allowed or allowed or whatever. Um, but for the first couple of weeks, it was, you know, um, it wasn't difficult, but it was different. Learning to log and weigh and measure my food. Um, but it, it wasn't hard. And after a few weeks, it just became very automatic. Now for me, it's very automatic and it takes little to no effort at all. Um, am I hungry? No, not unless I'm PMSing and it wouldn't matter if I was doing this or not. Whenever I PMS, I'm always hungry. I could eat 15 pizzas and still be hungry. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, I haven't had any 
any kind of negative side effects of doing this plan. So um, anyway, if you are interested in Bright Line Eating, I really, really, really hope you check it out. Check out the links below. Check out her book. Um, and hopefully you'll stick around and follow me on my journey. I know that there's quite a few people doing Bright Line Eating, but not many of them are logging their journey or sharing their journey on a platform like YouTube. So I really want to make an effort to put out regular videos with updates on my success and maybe even some, you know, what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, um, what, you know, maybe like grocery hauls and things like that to show you what I buy, what I don't buy. Um, might be helpful and some you know good recipes I found along the way so yeah anyway uh, thanks for watching this video I hope you stick around for more and if you're really struggling with your weight I really 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 hope you'll join me in the bright line eating lifestyle all right